Yo! What's up, game leapers? It is, of course, the Jizz, and in today's video, we are going to be revealing the champions and items buffed and nerfed in patch 11.6, and this is a big one. That's right, the next patch notes have been listed, so if you want to know if your favorite champion will be affected by these upcoming changes, make sure to stick around for the whole video. As always, when each patch is revealed, guys, there is a lot of commotion and emotions, so let's work out what these could mean for the current meta and for you. Now, one thing I want you to get hyped about is the Game Leap website. Hundreds of challenger courses, challenger guides, challenger analyses are waiting for you. If you want to take your game to the next level with exclusive of access to these resources, click on one of the links in the description and comment section. All right, let's get into it. And we're going to start with one of the biggest items in the game in the moment, causing a stir in the community because it is giga broken and there is literally zero counterplay. So for those of you playing Darius, Garen, Nah, Stridebreaker is getting nerfed as is Steric Gage. And no doubt all you ADCs and mid laners are rejoicing right now after copying it this patch. So if you guys remember in 11.5, right, change Stridebreaker's active so that its dash range increased, meaning the user can gap close to their enemy from further away, and on bruisers and fighters that typically struggle with getting kited, well this pretty much eliminated any of it. But knowing right, they will probably nerf the stats of the item and end up buffing the dash range again. And yes, the gauge is on the chopping block too guys, so those AD fighters are again in danger. So champions like Hecarim, Wukong, Camille, who have been strong for ages now, will be indirectly weaker. Riot did actually nerf the gauge in 11.3, but clearly not enough according to that balance team of theirs. Hang on a second, did the Jizz just mention Nar and Hecarim? We'll throw another couple of Sterix gauge buys in there too. Renekton and Urgot, and these four champions are getting nerfed in 11.6. Now Urgot is the most understandable of all, right? He has the highest win rate, and ever since Riot buffed his W's on hit in 11.4, the GOT has taken off. Not just because of that though, the Stride Breaker and Black Cleaver combo is off chops, and yes, Black Cleaver got buffed in 11.5, and you can throw a gauge in there later, which is getting nerfed, and these items empower their abusers like nothing else. So for Nah, Renekton, and Hecarim as well, 11.6 is a double whammy. Not only is at least one of your core items getting nerfed, you are too. The Hecarim nerf is, yeah, okay, we can see why he is one of the stronger junglers at the moment, as is Nar in the top lane, and both have picked a ton in pro play. But while these two perform well in solo queue, it's strange that Renekton is getting nerfed again after getting jabbed in 11-4. The Croc is just a 48% win rate across the board, one of the lowest for the Bruiser class, and hasn't performed well in solo queue. It's kind of like the Azir situation, but yeah, nowhere near as severe as that, of course. We'll have to wait until tomorrow to know exactly what the go is here. So Bruiser's generally nerfed, and the Got, Nar, Hecarim, and Renek directly nerfed in 11.6. Alright, let's switch up the mood guys and talk about some buffs coming in 11.6 and these are going to blow your mind because this champion class is doing great on the rift at the moment. And next patch, even better. So for any of you playing mages, if you weren't strong enough, well 11.6 is going to be straight up heaven. Why? Because two huge mage items are getting buffed, that's right. And these are Ludens Tempest and Rabadon's Death Cap. And yes, you heard the jizz correctly, Ludens is increasing in power, as is Rabadon's. Now Ludens has been one of the best mythics in the entire game in Season 11, and is largely behind the success of champions such as Annie, Ari, Fizz, the burst because of the magic penetration stats, the movement speed from its passive, it empowers these champions as much as any other mythic in the game. And then we have Rabadons, which honestly isn't bought nearly as much these days just because it is the most expensive item on the rift at 3800 gold. That's 400 gold more than any other item. And after Riot buffed Horizon Focus in 11.3, well this major item and Zonya's Hourglass as well, these are popular second choices for mages. They give you a big enough power spike to not worry about spending the extra gold for that death cap spike. So if you are a fan of Velkos, Victor, Lux, Ari, Fizz, Annie, you are in for a treat in 11.6. Now the gist is going to stay with mages for a second guys because there are some AP damage dealers out there getting buffed to nerf. Now the three mages getting a bit of 11.6 love Elena's. So if you play Arkali, Silas or LeBlanc, you'll be happy to know you will allegedly be better in 11.6. Now the reason why the jizz says allegedly is because the Arkali changes have been leaked and yeah, this 11.6 version doesn't seem buffed at all? So listen to this. Your HP is getting lowered from 575 to 500, which is big. Your passive auto attack no longer restores energy. Your Q will cost more energy at earlier ranks. Your Shuriken second flip is doing more damage, but the first is doing less. And the first part of your ultimate is doing more damage at rank 3, but not as much at level 6 and level 11. Oh, and this is changing from magic damage to physical damage. And it is true. How can anyone consider these buffs for Akali? If any of you do play the rogue assassin, let the jizz know in the comments if you might turn into one yourself in 11 six after hearing this. Now okay the Arkali buffs are troll but let's hope those coming to Silas and LeBlanc are nowhere near as infuriating. Even after buffing her in 11-2 LeBlanc yeah not much has really changed. Of course you can hard carry and win games if you
you know how to play her, and your burst damage is all still there, but in lower levels of play it's hard to make work generally. In saying that, she has close to a 55% win rate in high elo, so if you are a LeBlanc master, 11-6 could be the patch for you. Now as for Silas guys, the 11-3 buffs, well Riot thought these weren't enough, and like the best LeBlancs going around, the best Silas players boast a similar 55% win rate. The new and improved Everfrost is working wonders as your mythic right now, and it's not like you're a trash champion, not in the slightest, so a buff could be very interesting. Let's just hope it's not a turbo massive one, because yeah, Riot traditionally over buff champions and then nerf them into the ground. Now there are two majors getting nerfed guys, and these are both junglers. Now what do these two have in common apart from being AP? Well they are two of the best clearing junglers in the game. So for Lilia and Karthus in 11.6, Riot are dialing back some of your power. Lilia in particular is a priority pick in higher elo and in pro play, so we can make sense of it, and Karthus is one of those junglers where you don't really have to do much to be the biggest threat on the map. I mean it's not that fun losing half your health to a Requiem at level 11 when you haven't seen that champion yet, so 11.6 Lilia and Karthus not as strong. Now we're going to switch it up here guys and talk about the rest of the item buffs and adjustments coming in 11.6 and there are some heavy hitters in here. And before we get into them, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's upload where we will have the full changes of 11.6 and the jizz will be here to break down what these mean. Okay, so let's start with the other two item buffs coming next patch guys and one of them is a tank mythic. So if you love Sunfire Ages, this mythic is rightfully getting some positive attention from Rito. And the jizz says rightfully because Turbo Chem Tank and Frostfire Gauntlet are performing better and Sunfire has been nerfed harder than anything else since the new shop was released back in 2020. So much so that the best champions in the game back then, like Zack and Amumu, these went from god tier to dog tier real quick. So if you're a Malphite main as well, or a Sejuani main who got buffed in 11.52, happier days in 11.6. Now the second item buff is to another mythic, and this is one of the most unpopular items in the game. Now how many of you have bought Shirelia's battle song this patch? My hand certainly isn't up, I don't even think I've seen that item in the shop to be honest. So Riot wants Shirelia's to be a viable mythic for spellcasting supports. So think of Karma, Sona, Soraka, Seraphine, Nami. The thing is, Moonstar Renewer is too good to miss, so naturally Shirelia's is brushed aside. Even though it gives you exactly the same stats as Moonstone, who cares that much about movement speed in the early to mid game? Infinite healing is infinitely better. So this buff is one of the most warranted ones of the 11-6 list, that's for sure. So if you play an enchanter, get pumped. So now for the item adjustments guys, and more often than not, these usually mean buffs. And let's look at them in that light because that's what the jizz is all about, a bit of positivity. Now there are three changes we have to talk about here, two of which are to mythic items, but let's start with the summoner spell adjustment coming in 11-6. So in just over a week's time guys, teleport is getting adjusted. So hopefully your ears perked up if you're a top laner or a mid laner in particular. TP is for sure one of the most popular summoner spells for solo laners and one of the most influential. It gives you the presence across the map and can keep you in a game when you're playing against a counter pick. But for the jizz personally, I miss the days when Ignite was picked and it was more about 1v1ing your laner rather than thinking about your team as much, you know, because your teammates, oh, where do we start? But still interesting that this is getting changed, so make sure you're here for tomorrow's video when we reveal exactly what the TP change is. Now for the two item adjustments guys and the mythics included are Immortal Shield Bow and Leandri's Anguish. So for Yone, Yasuo, Fiora, Samira, and other ADCs, and even Aurelia who value a bit of sustain and lifesteal in their games, yeah, Shield Bow is getting tweaked. So it gives you a little less lifesteal, 2% less in fact, but gives you attack speed instead of lifesteal via its lifeline passive. So when you're below 30% HP, you're not getting more lifesteal, you're getting more AS. Now for Yasuo and Yone especially, this sounds nutty, because the more attack speed you have, the lower your Q's cooldown and W cooldown if you're on Yone. So when you're on the brink of death, yeah, now nah, you're really not. Now for Aurelia and Fiora, this is almost as impactful because with Conqueror stack, the healing, the damage, and now the extra attack speed, it's going to be on a whole nother level. And for ADCs and Graves, it will be strong, just not as strong as the aforementioned champions. Now if Mages weren't already jumping for joy, Leandris is getting adjusted, in other words, buffed. And what Riot are doing is taking out the magic resist, ignore passive, and throwing in a new passive called Agony, which deals up to 12% bonus magic damage based on the target's bonus health. So against fighters and tanks, this is super nice, and the Torment passive is still there. Just yet nowhere near as strong because that would be mega OP. Now as we whiz through the last listed changes guys, this is the Jizz's last friendly reminder to check out the Game Week website when I stop talking because I'm on there too. So if you want the best and freshest league content, our side is all you will ever need. The content isn't recycled, it's made from the highest level players and coaches in the world, so get clicking. Alright, so let's smash through the last champion buffs and there are three of them. So if you haven't already heard guys, Zin Zhao is getting reworked. Basically what's happening is that there is more magic damage in his kit. So this opens up builds with Nash's Tooth and God knows what else. To be honest, it's a puzzling change because most Zin Zhao's to the Jizz's understanding don't care about AP Zin. They just want Zin to feel cleaner and maybe more dynamic, but we'll have to see how these play out. Now this next champion getting buffed got nerfed in 11.5. What a turn of events. So if you play Pike, get in there. Now this patch, 
5, right? Made mid pike, well, I don't want to say close to unplayable, so a lot less viable because you get more gray health for being near at least two enemy champions. In other words, if you're not in the bot lane, you are nowhere near as effective. So we'll have to wait and see what Riot do here, but if you're excited, let the jizz know in the comments. Now, the last champion buff in 11.6, guys, is coming to a top laner who isn't really played much in the jungle, but with Turbo Chem Tank being as good as it is, Volley Bear is going to be tearing up the rift in 11.6. The jizz can feel it. So yes, Riot are targeting jungle Volley Bear, whatever this means. So for any of you wildlife fans who want more role diversity, 11.6 is there for the taking. Now, the last set of nerfs, guys, we have to go through are the four items and two runes, and these impact a variety of champions and roles, so here we go. The first major item on the hit list is Blade of the Ruined King. So Jax players, after getting buffed in 11.5, your first buy is weaker. For Viego players and Aurelia players, same thing. Your first item spike is more meh. Now, on the PBE right now, Bork is offering 2% less life still than what it currently is, so if this is what goes through in 11.6, it's not the end of the world, but this is the first of many nerfs targeted at that healing and sustain still in League. So let's stay on that topic and talk about the Ravenous Hunter room, which is also copying it, as is Fleet Footwork. Now, Ravenous Hunter has been talk of the Reddit recently, guys, mainly because it grants Omni Vamp, which works off your autos and abilities, so the healing is very accessible. Well, Riot are nerfing the amount of Vamp you acquire in total from 9.5% to 7.5%, and on top of that, the Omni Vamp from Ravenous is only 33% effective when you deal AoE damage. So this affects anyone building Ravenous Hydra, like Aatrox and Riven, because you're not going to heal as much from your AoE, and this is big. Even to AP champions like Anivia, Diana, Fizz, not healing as much from your area of effect skills is damaging for sure in lane and in team fights. Now, the fleet nerf coming is specific for AB champions. So Silas, who we mentioned, Arkali as well. Yeah, the FF is going to be less effective in that laning phase and later in a game too, because it's a safe bet to assume Riot will nerf the AP ratio in the rune. The Jizz sends his condolences, by the way, to all you Arkali men. It must be hell listening to these upcoming changes. Oh, and unfortunately, it doesn't stop there, because three items, two in particular, you would pretty much build every game, are getting nerfed too. Dear me, 11.6 is looking uglier than the Jizz in the morning. So Seeker's Arm Guard and Verdant Barrier are nerfed, and these two buildings are Zonia's and Banshee's Veil respectively. So both cost a thousand gold and the passes are very similar. When you kill a unit, you get a bit of armor or magic resist. So into hard matchups, this is very useful of course, and whether Rito increased the cost or changed these passives, your matchups on Akali, Kastin, and Nivea Silas become harder in 11.6. Now let's say you do make it out of the earlier mid game. Tough luck, because Void Staff is getting nerfed too. Now if you buy Luden's Tempest, you won't feel this as much because you get plenty of magic pen from that. But if you're an Elise, a Diana, you know, someone who loves the Void with Night Harvester, for instance, this is a bit of a hit. You will still be able to one-shot people just because magic resist items are pretty much, well, non-existent to squishies anyway, so not a big deal, but still, a little punch to the gut. So those are the list of changes, guys, and make sure you express whatever you are feeling in the comments. The jizz is here for you. Make sure to tune in for the full changes in tomorrow's upload, guys, and until then, peace!